you doing, sir? Just fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. I know. <laughs> so now, um, the subject today, this is your life. Uh, what would you say to that? Uh, well, what what has your choice of thinking, feelingly has your life. So there you are. It's all yours. Take it away. Okay, we can end the show right there. I think you said everything that needed to be said. <laughs> well, what you choose to believe, you're delivered into. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. What do you choose to believe? And if you're not choosing to believe it, I, 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 I wouldn't want to tell you what you could be delivered into. <laughs> Been there, done that. Just take my word for it. <laughs> well, it is your life. If you're not really enjoying it, I can tell you a secret. You're not thinking right. Yeah. See, th that's the secret. What are you thinking about feelingly most of the time? I, I, I mean, it, hey, it's your life. See, I mean, we're, we're just bringing you a message you left for yourself. And the message you left for yourself was, I am. That's all you're saying is I am. Just consciousness of being is saying I am. And whatever you put after you say I am, that's your world of experiencing. So if you would just kind of monitor your own self-talk to see what you're actually talking to yourself about, suggesting to yourself about, unaware that that can be anything from uncomfortable to disastrous because you're operating the power see not not a little power, the power and and all i can tell you is consider that and use it wisely wouldn't you say absolutely i like that you brought back to our attention i am and you said whatever you attach to i am that's what you're being at the moment. And I know that many people find that very difficult to believe. So that's why they told you to think only on things that are, well, think on things that are lovely and of good report. <laughs> See, that's why I like you on my side here, so you can correct me. <laughs> well, you know what? I don't even correct you on that one anymore. But you know what? I think it's better when you say think only because if that's what you want to manifest in your life, then that's what you should give your attention to. So I think that you should, from this point on, say thank only and leave it at thank only. <laughs> no. No. Well, I would have done so if it had never been brought up. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't want to give anybody the impression that I'm talking other than scripture. Absolutely. <laughs> because in the first place, like I said, it's not coming from me; it's coming through me. See, and and and, I, and it comes a lot faster than I can gra grab it sometimes. See, because, uh, but it, I'll tell you what it does: it makes you stretch a little. You see, and and that's the whole idea to keep you pushing the envelope. I guess they say is something like that, but. But but that's that's what you're here to do. But just watch what you're pushing in that envelope. <laughs> because you know, look, you're on all the time. Now now that that's something that most people have have no clue to at all that they're actually on all the time. Now what do I mean by on? I mean you're creatively thinking all the time. And your world is being created moment by moment. You're always thinking ahead of your evidence. Check up on what you're thinking. I, I mean, really, because it's all creative. You were given, choose this day. That, that's, he gave you creation right there. Uh, really, think about it. What you choose to think about, you experience. It's as simple as that. I, it, people tell me they want it simple, but you know, I, I I thought I wanted it simple too. But 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 then, 
But then when it started getting simple, it, it sounded like there was a responsibility tag to it. See? And, and then, you know, to, to know what to do is not enough. You have to do it. Do a thing and you shall have the power. See? He gave you his all. He even gave you himself. He even tells you, I suffer with you, but you behold me not. I mean, how, how close do you want to be? Someone says, oh, they're so lonely. How can you be lonely? Jesus Christ is right with you. So is God. Didn't he say, I and my father are one, even as you and I are one? I mean, one, one. How can you be lonely? Hey, you don't go in closet and close the door and speak to your father. Well, I mean, you want help? It's nearer than hands and feet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were saying earlier, you know, uh, it's not enough to know what to do. You have to do it. And I think that we're in a society. Everybody's getting the no, know this, know that, you know, we, we're chasing after knowledge. But the challenge is, is getting people to implement, like you said, do a thing and you shall have the power. But you're absolutely correct. Yeah. Don't make you popular, though. <laughs> it don't. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it, it... <laughs> <laughs> well, people do have some weird ideas. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, they really are. You know, I, I like to read something to you here. It says, people who like themselves realize that they are God's creation are never really alone. It is only when we lose track of our value, our own personal connection with the divine, that we are desperate for others to distract us from our loss. I mean, that was Richard Nelson, uh, the uh, island within. See, the whole story is as within, so without. Once it's out here, that's secondhand land. You don't need to go there for help. You need to go within because th that that's where you do your work in the theater of mind, not not out here. Out here, this is the doing. Just, this is just doing stuff. I mean, th this is a virtual reality. It isn't reality. A virtual reality goes away, yeah. uh, and. I mean, it's just, it's impermanent. It's impermanent. Every, everything here is in a state of change at this very moment. It's all actually crumbling apart, really, if you think about it. I mean, it takes a while, so you don't get, you can't see it, but it's happening. So if everything here goes away, then it isn't reality. But the only thing here that is reality is you. You are the reality of your world of experiencing. And, I don't care who else seems to be involved. Nobody is. You're you're one. That's it. <laughs> and you're called one by one. Not with a group, not with a congregation. You're called one by one. See, so so that means yeah, your responsibility has come due. Right then and there. Feel after him and you'll find him. That's you in imagination, seeing you doing, being, and having what you desire. Or what somebody else told you about that you got caught up with. In other words, yeah, I like the guy. He was a nice guy, but his attitudes are a little, but you kind of copy him anyway. You see, what you accept, see, you're told you choose not, or you're choosing a miss. See, so which are you doing? All you have to do, all you have to do is just see what you're involved in. Every, 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 as, as often as you can, let's put it that way. See what you're involved in thinking, and then ask yourself, do I really want to go there? Do, do I want to do that? Do I want to be involved in that? No? 
then what? Why are you thinking it? Because it's as you think you are. See, you, you got to keep it simple. Because if you don't keep it simple, you, it gets all muddled up and, and, and it just goes away. Even though you know, actually, what we, what we, we were talking about the last time, the remembrancer. Well, you see, if you, if it, if, if the remembrancer is the, the, the power there, he's not a teacher. That was Jesus. This is a remembrancer. He's bringing to your remembrance. So in other words, you already know it. Yeah. And see, you just get so tied up with a thousand things in your world that you, 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 you're just a worldly thing. That's all. You're not. You're not a you thing. You're. You're. You're everything else. Gee, you'll be chosen for it. Like I said, they're standing in the wings, just looking for the weak one. <laughs> and if you look like you're kind of gazed, man, you're your target. <laughs> and and they tell you that, don't in that uh, don't they tell you that? I, if you if you look like you don't know what's going on, man, it's ah, there's one. <laughs> yeah. I've gotten, I've been gotten, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we, the, the thing of it is, we have too many, too many hoops to jump through. Yeah. You, you know, you, you have so many things going on that, that, that what you are, you are going on. But, You've forgotten what you were thinking ahead of your evidence, so everything is a surprise. I mean, it's like, well, why this? Why now? Why me? Why? 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 Well, because as you think, you are. I, I think, I think right there that that one statement, as you think, you are. It, doesn't that put you in control of the whole show? Absolutely. Everybody's looking to buy a ticket to the show. You are the show. You don't need a ticket. You and and to tell you the truth, you're just as personally a star as anybody else. But what are you starring in? See that? Look, it, it's all right with you. But you have to sit down and be quiet. <laughs> and and I I I know, I know the seriousness of that because uh, yeah. I, I went through that a hundred times. I gave up. I quit. I turned away. I said, nah. But you see, if you persevere long enough that you start getting the benefits of your being still to know that you know, because you're given to know God. He tells you, be still and know that I am God. I am God with you. Always, never leave you. Omnipresence. Wow. <laughs> if you can find somebody to give you more than that, tack on them right now. Because that, that's the whole story. As you think you are. That's it. And it, I mean, it, it goes to every department of your life. And I like to cover them all, but <laughs> that would take a lot of time. But... Uh, Actually, it works when you work it. That's that's when it works for you, when you're working for you, when you're on your own side. <laughs> I, I heard that from someone who knows. <laughs> on your own side. Yeah, that, that's what Noel told me. Yeah. I, I, I didn't quite hear you're on your own side. I thought, what? But yeah, he was absolutely right. I wasn't. I I, I was. I kept dredging up things to think about that I didn't want. To, I didn't have anything to do with it all. But yeah, I keep thinking about it. And someone says, "Well, that's what happens to me." That's right. And that's what'll keep happening to you until you take hold, change your mind, change your world. And that was a given by God to you. So you can do it. And not to do it, well, that makes you that weak one that the 
lions are laying there in the grass just waiting for you to come stumbling by and you're din din <laughs> and believe me they're out there in groves and more so now i mean just read the newspaper i mean i mean they're out there in groves looking for people who aren't paying attention and that's all that's that's the only weapon you really got is paying attention and that's the only weapon you need if you are paying attention but if you're not you can't arm yourself enough to save yourself <laughs> they'll get you yeah and, and the thing of it is you see if today oh i know you hear a lot of gun violence but actually that that's not what really is plaguing us what is plaguing us is that we're being conditioned by the media you're being conditioned they're, they're telling you what you should eat what you should wear what you should i mean <laughs> I, I thought just give a bite about it one commercial or but but I mean and and it, it's it's the same it's the same thing they do with the little kids they get them cartoons and then it's like make the leave but you see they they don't they don't know the distinction between believing and, and not believing yet so it it goes right in with, with no opposition and see and someone says well wait yeah but i don't pay attention to those commercials that so. yeah, just go open their cupboards <laughs> just look around i see the empty boxes out there <laughs> yeah we're we're all conditioned absolutely to a, a great degree because we have bodies and and these these bodies are the very demanding these bodies are very demanding on you and 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 you whether you like it or not you kind of got to keep them up otherwise they kind of fail out on you but even that's still a thought you understand that that's a creative thought even if it's in the negative it's still a creative thought it's all creative Every, every word must be accounted for, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And if every word is to be accounted for, that means the whole, you just made the whole show. You see, like I told you, you don't need to take it. You are the show. But what is showing? See, and, and that's why I used to like to get down off the stage and go out and stand in front of the audience because you, you, you're closer and you see the expressions on their faces and you know who's thinking what. And when I say that, they start doing this. <laughs> and that's just another sign. <laughs> so anyway, but like I said, whatever it is that you're choosing, that, that that's your life. And, and you, if you don't listen to your own conversations, you may not be aware of what you're choosing and then when it happens it's like you know but you did it see that, that's what I'm, i i get an argument there nine times out of ten right there oh no 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 you don't know what they did to me. yeah i i understand what they did to you and i believe what you're saying that they did to you and so what are you going to do? going to wear it like a badge for the rest of your life? No, no. Believe me. I I, I told you the story of the guy 35 years. He, he Every day he's been mulling that over. You think he's not conditioned? Absolutely. He's totally not enjoying life if he's thinking that every day. And you just look at his face when he's telling you the story. I mean, he's like... <clears throat> Look, this is a radical change of thinking. Uh, I mean, it really is. Uh, and not that it is radical, but it's just that nobody's participated in it, so it makes it kind of radical. Yeah. But it doesn't take it doesn't take brains 
you see. You, you, you're operating on a system that is automatic. You understand? It it happens when you happen, and it don't happen when you ain't happening. It's all on automatic, as you think you are. That's your automatic button. But you have to know what you're thinking. Yeah, you, you have to pay attention. You see, your attention is the life of whatever ha you have your has your attention because you're feeding it. As a matter of fact, when people come for private interviews, they sit there and and they're feeding the very monster they wish would go away, right, right while they're talking to me. And I'm saying, well, well, why don't you let them go? Oh well, Wendell, well, that's easier said than done. Yeah, that's right. It is easier said than done because we were the one to get them to say it. So say it. Goodbye. Hasta luego. <laughs> and then they'll still say, well, Lindo, that's still easier said than done. Yeah, that's the beauty of it because it was you who was given to say it. And your say is what you're experiencing. Say something different. Think only on th think on things lovely and of good report. Yeah, I... <clears throat> when when you get it, I think <laughs> that, that's why I, I I always have things around to I I to to get the names of people what I I quote because I sometimes it just. But actually, none of it's coming from me. Yeah. You got that. Yeah. It's coming to, you know, if you talk to me in private life, you would not suspect anything. <laughs> Even my wife goes. <laughs> She's, I love you. <laughs> and, and, you, you 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 do have to persevere. You understand? In other words, you have to keep your attention on what you want to experience, not what you don't want to experience. Because what has your attention has your life. I know I've told you that before. How many times? I don't know. But you know something? I, I wouldn't even want to tell you the number of times I had to hear it. And even though I'm agreeing with it every time I hear it, because I know logically that it's worthy of my attention, but do you see that that's that's the thing. Knowing what to do, it's the doing it. You can know what to do, but if you don't do it, it, it you, you don't understand. Whip it up a little, you know. Think about it. Feel after it. They all, all day. So, like, like what it was, conscience asked me. She says, Well, Blendo, tell me, do, do you walk around all day thinking about these things? <laughs> I said, No, I have to check on myself too because I'll, I catch myself every day setting myself up for a problem. And I'm going, Hey, whoa, whoa, where are we going with this? I mean, well, what, what, what do you, is this what you want to do? Well, no, but go oh, then drop. See, the, you have to take charge. You're in. You're in control, but are you in charge of control? See, you you actually really are in every word. Every you're in charge of every word. What are you saying? I, I mean, if if you just catch what you're thinking, feelingly about. And and decide, no, no, I don't. That's not where I want to go. Then drop it. Stop thinking about it. And the way you stop thinking about one thing is that you choose to think about something else. And all you have to do is have a ready backup right there with you to think on something that's lovely and of good report. Because that's what you're told to do. Think on, on things that are lovely and of good report. And if you just do so for a time, you'll start seeing the benefits of doing so. And once you see the benefits, well, then you won't really need it 
anybody to hold your hand, which won't be me because I don't want to. No, no. You know, the thing of it is you wind up getting involved in somebody else's thing. Yeah. You know, I, I'll tell you how to take care of it, but I, I don't want to stick around and hold your hand while you do it. I, I know because it, if I did that, how many how many hands were I be holding? <laughs> Quite a bit. <laughs> See, you know what I mean. And I and and then you know I I wouldn't have a life. Yeah. Although I do, I enjoy doing this, but not not continuously. Yeah. No. But I did get the message about it. Faint not and carry on. <laughs> So as we're winding down today, uh, what would you say to the listeners about, you know, just standing your ground and uh, this is your life? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, half an hour. Okay. You remember you, our talk? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to say. <laughs> no, no, you weren't talking that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, it always puts me in a mood, good mood. <laughs> and, and, you know, th that's something people don't practice enough. That's true. In, 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 you, you get in a, a bad mood and you kind of go along with it. Yeah. Be because for some reason or another, you kind of feel justified. Yeah. See, and... and, and See, I, I had all those justifications too. I had excuses and justifications and reasons and 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 and, and actually I could get a crowd to agree with me. Sure. I mean attitude awareness. Because like I said, the great minds down through the centuries have said and in unison that man is his attitudes. But you get to choose them. You get, don't you get to choose them? Choose this, that, choose them. Choose better. If an attitude's not serving you any longer, get rid of it. It's excess baggage. I mean, you can be a hoarder without without having junk around you. You got enough junk going on in here, and you'd be surprised about how much there is in there that should be gotten rid of. A long time ago. And, and even now, I keep stumbling over bits of it. But when I do, I, I usually pause for a moment to get rid of it. Yeah. Because if you don't, you see, it 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 just laying around, but it, it, it's not actually collecting dust. You see, it's like floating around there, just waiting for a signal for it to move right in. And you, you might call it a mindset, but it's just not a good mindset. That's all. You have to choose those two. I mean, that's what this is all about. It's about choosing this day. And as I said, it's always this day. That's it. It's always this day. Remember, it's always this choose this day. I mean, you actually are whether you're aware of it or not. We're just telling you to be aware of it. And I, I'm I'm sure once you start being aware of it, you'll be you you'll you'll understand why we told you to be aware of it because not paying attention is not really wise. So move on, move up. <laughs> you have you have the time to do it. Someone says, "Well, I may have the time to do that." <laughs> Sooner or later, you will. So why get all the knocks and blocks until you get there? <laughs> get where? Make a decision. No, you know, making a decision, you know, that that's that's that that's really serious. You see, in other words, if you're making a decision, it means you're changing course. If what you're doing isn't leading where you leading you where you want to go. Try a new thought pattern. I, I mean, you know, you can make, certainly you can think of something better to do than what you're doing. 
I mean, there's going, always got to be improvement on everything. I mean, look, remember, we came out of the caves. We're out shooting out in stars. I mean, come on. It, it, it's, it's, it's a constant movement forward. We're, we're being allowed to train ourselves. You see, so we can't say, well, yeah, but you made me do it. No, we're allowed to train ourselves, but you got to get busy doing it. You know. What would you say you want to close down or what? Yeah. <laughs> well, I know that you were coming to your closing statement, so I'll just let you wind down and rev. I'll let you rev it down a little bit. <laughs> but like always, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> well, yes, it has. I mean, you know, we're both laughing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, and 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 the thing of it is that that's that's a that's serious laughing. See, and the reason why we're laughing is, is that because we do know what you need to know. And if you already need to know it, then you know we're, we're just messenger. We're, we're just bringing your mail to you, so to speak. Open it and quicken it, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. All right, sir. Talk to you later. Talk to you later.